Hello again, it's me, Deconstruction Doris, and this is episode number three, and it's called Progress. And I will start to explore some things that started to come up in the last video uh, episode concerning civilization and history. And again, I will address kind of differences and distinctions between the regional and the um, exotic exhibitions. And I'm going to start with a diorama from the exotic floor. And all of the dioramas are organized geographically, so each of them kind of deals with a different continent. So this is an image that I found online of animal species from the uh, Asian continent. But something interesting is starting to happen in the back again here with this form. And I took a photograph of this form in another diorama that also deals with um, animal species from the Asian continent. So here we can see this form. And you can't hear it, but in this diorama there is also a musical accompaniment. But no information is given either about the music or about this form. And I find it quite kind of significant um, because it makes this whole diorama quite kind of culturally theatrical. So here is another example of a diorama from the, um, well, of an exhibition display from the uh, exotic floor of animal species from Oceania. And on the back wall, here is a cultural artifact which has been reproduced and is presented on a canvas. Um, by comparison, here is a display from the Regional Fauna Exhibition, and here we can see a physical human architectural structure, and these kind of objects of the everyday and like uh, domestic labor objects, and here are the animals uh, within this kind of display, and here is the bottom of that same case, I'm sorry that the photograph is not so good, but Again, we can see these um, domestic objects of the everyday. And in another example, uh, we can see the same thing, this human architectural support and um, domestic objects of the everyday, and the animals are kind of within this. So I was thinking, what does it mean not to provide information about these specific cultural forms? And... Um, I guess that another kind of thing that can be observed about these two uh, or the all of these different exhibits is that kind of in this one the status of this object and these um, animals which are also objects is quite kind of similar and when we compare it with um, this display we can see that the animals kind of really appear also to have the same status as objects but they're within this, uh, hu this human architectural support. So it's really like that these animals are nesting within like the this, this support. So my question is, in the museum, um, do the display strategies and displays kind of indicate that people, that indigenous people from uh, non-European continents are, and their cultural artifacts uh, are also forms of fauna? Um, so, okay, and before I end this episode, I want to show you guys something else. Uh, which is like, when I was thinking about what is the difference between human society and culture and animals, I guess that one of the major differences is that animals don't record their own histories. So I'm going to show you now how, as a spectator, you kind of approach each of these respective exhibitions. So on the regional fauna floor, this is the first thing that you see. It is a... Um, <clears throat> these plaques display kind of very specific information about the history of the uh, Geneva Museum of Natural History and um, of the administrators and the directors of the museum. And by comparison, when you um, encounter the exotic floor, this is the first thing that you see. And this is a collection of every tiger species on the planet. So... There's something like going on about the way that indigenous cultures are kind of being treated as fauna um, on the exotic floor. But I think it's also worth acknowledging that on this floor, the animals are kind of treated as, yeah, as objects, but within a very specific uh, historical uh, framework. So... That's it for the episode for today, and I hope that you guys found it really interesting, and I'm really looking forward to your comments, and I hope that you are subscribing to the channel, and I'm, yeah, looking forward to giving you a new episode soon, and yeah, that's it for now. Bye!